I would like to begin the proceedings just by observing that the broad question by many people who have spoken and written to us so far is, why really did we invade Iraq? Why Saddam? And why now in March 2003? Up to September the 11th, as doing our best, hoping for the best, but with a different calculus of risk assessment. In other words, up to September the 11th, we thought he was a risk, but we thought it was worth trying to contain it. The crucial thing after September the 11th is that the calculus of risk changed. But it's really the critical thing, and, and sorry, if you forgive me for interrupting, but it, it's absolutely essential to realize this. If September the 11th hadn't happened, mm. Our assessment of the risk of allowing Saddam, any possibility of him reconstituting his programs, would not have been the same. As Jack Straw was later on to put it to you in, in, in his minute of the 25th of March 2002, um, summarizing the situation with regard to Iraq, objectively, the threat from Iraq has not worsened as a result of 11 September. And Here's what changed for me the whole calculus of risk. That's my view then, it, it remains my view now. Um, the point about this terrorist act was that over 3,000 people had been killed on the streets of New York, an absolutely horrific event. But this is what really changed my perception of risk, the calculus of risk for me. If those people, inspired by this religious fanaticism, could have killed 30,000, they would have. Point about this act in New York was that had they been able to kill even more people than those 3,000, they would have. And so after that time, my view was you could not take risks with this issue at all. That completely changed our assessment of where the risks for security lay. And just so that we make this absolutely clear, this was not an American position. This was my position and the British position, very, very clearly. But Saddam himself was not a sponsor of al-Qaeda. He hadn't been involved in 9-11 in any shape or form. Um, had Saddam Hussein, at this point, uh, become more of a threat than he was before 9-11? Well, I think Jack puts it absolutely accurately in, in his letter to me. It wasn't that objectively he had done more. It is that our perception of the risk had shifted. The situation on WMD essentially hadn't changed very much over the previous three or more years. No, no sorry. The, the, the position on WMD had changed dramatically as a result of September the 11th. The facts on WMD had not changed, the perception of the risk had changed, but not the risk itself. Yes, look, well, I would say that the, 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 the shift really happened straight after September the 11th. That although the American mindset had changed dramatically, and frankly, mine had as well, it was also important to me because I didn't want America to feel that it had no option but to do it on its own. And one major part of what President Bush was saying to me was just to express his fear, actually, that if we weren't prepared to act in a really strong way, then we ran the risk of sending a disastrous signal out to the world. September the 11th happened. I never regarded September the 11th as an attack on America. I regarded it as an attack on us. And I'd said we would stand shoulder to shoulder with them. We did in Afghanistan, and I was determined to do that again.